Welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support Videos. In this video, we will see how to configure a Microsoft SQL Server connection in IDQ when the server is on Linux. Microsoft SQL Server connection uses JDBC for metadata access and ODBC for data access. There are two ways to configure a SQL Server connection in IDQ. One is through Administrator Console and the second one is through Developer Client. In this video, we will see how to configure it using Administrator Console. We have to set some of the environment variables on the server side for the connection to work successfully. First one is LD Library Path, second one is Path, third one is ODBC Home, and the fourth one is ODBC INI Environment Variable if the DSN option is used, or ODBC INST Environment Variable if the DSN Less option is used. After setting these environment variables, we have to restart the domain so that the domain can pick up the values of these environment variables successfully. After that, we have to specify the connection string properties in the odbc.ini file if the DSN option is used. Now we will move to the demo. This is the connections tab of administrator console. To create a new connection, click on actions, click on new, click on connection. Search for SQL Server and click on OK. Give the name to the SQL Server connection. I will give SQL Connection. You can give description also. Specify the username of the database, password of the database. Click on Next. This is the JDBC connection string. Specify the host name of the database, the port number. If a different port number is used, 1433 is the default port number for SQL Server database. This give the database name over here. If the DSN option is not used, specify the connection string in this format. But here we are using DSN. We will specify the connection string that we also have to specify in the odbc.ini file. Now do the test connection. This test connection will check only for the connection string specified in the metadata access properties. Click on finish. As we can see, a new connection, SQL connection has been made. We are on the server right now and I will show you where I have specified the environment variables. So as we can see, I have specified the lib folder of ODBC 7.1 in LD library path. I have specified the bin folder of ODBC 7.1 in the path environment variable. I have specified the odbc.ini file in ODBC INI environment variable and ODBC 7.1 home folder in ODBC home environment variable. Now I will show you ODBC INI file. This is the ODBC INI file. Here I have already created a SQL Server connection properties in this file. Here there is one field called SQL Server via protocol. You have to replace it with the connection string that you have specified in the administrator console when you are creating a new SQL Server connection. There I have specified SQL Server. Here I have also specified SQL Server. Specify the path of the driver and also the driver name for SQL Server. It will be DW SQL S28.SO. Now specify the database name, specify the host name, specify the logon ID and Specify the port number if a different port number is used. You can copy paste these connection properties and change it if you create a different SQL Server connection also. Now, this is the developer client. If you want to see a new connection that you have made, click on Windows, click on Preferences, click on Connections, click on Domain and Click on the database, click on Microsoft SQL Server and here you can see SQL connection that we have made. Click on OK. You can visit this link 
to understand more about SQL Server Connection properties. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.